Good morning, my lovelies. I'm doing, I wanted to do a, I don't have a lot, but I just wanted to show you guys my Oracle deck collection because I have been, you know, <laughs> I've been collecting quite a few the past few months and I just wanted to go ahead and just show what I have and also I have more on my wish list. So um, with that said, I just wanted to let you guys see what I have, what I'm loving, what is, I feel like it's a very well-rounded collection for like helping with, you know, doing readings for others and a lot of good ones for myself, you know, just for personal use and yeah, let's get started. So I guess we'll, well, we'll start on this end. Okay. So I, yeah, the Sacred Creators Oracle by Chris Ann Donnelly. Um, okay. I, think, I know she said, so this is from the second run. That came out I had a pre-order back in January and it came in a week ago so it came and took from January to April but um, I think she might be doing a third run she said that goop I think still has some in stock but I think you can pre-order on her website in which case do it because this deck is amazing um, amazing card stock oh amazing I mean look how beautiful it is and it comes with a really fantastic ooh, fantastic book um, another thing I love about this um, other than the colors and the little sacred geometry. I mean, the little symbols, the the font, the 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 word um, keywords on the cards. Um, it's you know obviously it's I mean it's called Sacred Creators Oracle. It is amazing um, for entrepreneurs, for creators, for artists, for beautiful souls that you know want to do more than just Netflix and chill. Which there's nothing wrong with Netflix and chilling, but you know, you can't do it every day. Some days you might want to be doing, you know, branching off and exploring your own self and what makes you super happy and excited. So, <laughs> nothing, not hating, not hating on Netflix and chilling. Um, it just made me think, it's like, sometimes I like, I want to be creating something. But anyway, um, what's a beautiful thing about this is, here, let me show you the, it comes in a really awesome box, which is somewhere, but this book is so And look at that. And it's so uplifting and but it makes you ask yourself like the right questions, if that makes sense. Like you can't just to help get you you know I don't know, get you out of your head. Start, you know, start producing, putting the work in, or whatever you're I mean, I guess it just depends on in my case, I was like, I need to get out of my head sometimes. I like, overthink things. But for people I guess that may be the opposite. Maybe you don't overthink things and you might need guidance on actions. But here's some really cool little spreads. I have not tried all the spreads yet, but um it's just oh gosh, it's so fantastic. And so that's the messages. I know we started right in the middle. But look at this book. It is such a chunky little book and not little, it's a nice big book, but it's gorgeous. The um, beautiful thing about this though, other than how lovely it shuffles, she has cards in here that correspond to the major arcana from tarot. And not that it's, you know, you don't need to know tarot to have this deck, but it's kind of nice. It's a nice little perspective on the majors. So, <laughs> that card, this card popped, it's popped out of me shuffling like three times now. I was like, hmm, let me ask myself that good question. So, yes, this is like, this is like the ultimate deck. I mean, among others, but this one, I was like, everyone, everybody needs this deck. But I love it because I love, you know, I really, really got sucked into tarot by doing, um, business spreads for myself as you know guidance for my business and myself my blocks uh things i can work on things i need to prioritize it's beautiful but yeah look how colorful it is oh i love that so that one that's 19 it corresponds to the sun card in tarot and here's the oops, sorry ah the emperor i'm a spaz i don't know how it's going to go with this tripod so <laughs> There's the devil card. So, you can see how colorful it is. So, anyway. Awesome, awesome. Just everything about it. From the, everything about it. From the tactile feel to 
all of that. I know some of these are in my April favorites video, so because they're all new, um, relatively new, pretty new. These are the Here and Now cards. Here and Now cards, visionarycards.com by, I will not know how to pronounce her name, but Noah Nafu. Um, I got these because of the sacred geometry, and this is not, I mean, it's okay cardstock. It's not, yeah, I was like, it's not my favorite by any means, but it's okay because the artwork is lovely. find that funny card that just makes me laugh. So this deck is very, yeah, for reflection. <laughs> reflection and meditation. Um, where is it? It's very... Peruvian to me. I don't know where the artist is from, but it just, you know, feels. Some of the artwork is, it's like different, you know, some of it's very like that, and then some of it's like that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, so it's like very South American. Um, where is, there, that card. <laughs> that just makes me laugh. It's like, have fun, enjoy yourself, enjoy life. That's what we're here for. So, um, and it has a nice little guidebook. It's very, obviously, it's very spiritually minded and deep and, you know, uplifting. Anyway, there's that one. Have not used that for clients, but that's okay. Alright, the next one is my, this one's like my, this is one's, this is the Alchemist Oracle by Inner Hue. Um, the Connected and Free, sorry. Free and Free. Uh, connected and free. This box is actually, I mean, this, I keep it in the box. Um, it's a nice, it's a nice little box. Oh, and the little, the guidebook is really good, too. Just, I love her writing style. Spirits, like how to cleanse the cards, I think. How, like cleansing cards when you're reading for others. And then... All the um, cards themselves, the messages, they're not in the non-alphabetical order, and they're not numbered, so you have to sift through. But that was her intention for the deck. You know, she was like, if you want to read a message, you're gonna have to sift through it. So it kind of makes you rely on your intuition first. Like, what's the first thing you're getting from these cards? This card stock is amazing too. Look at that. Look at that. Um, amazing so I can have chakra cards. I need to do, I want to do a full walkthrough. I love that card. It's very beautiful. The messages in the book are amazing. Absolutely divine to work with and, you know, shuffle and feel it. But it is so beautiful and deep. And it really, um, this made me tear up. <laughs> it's like a couple of these decks have made me tear up. So it's like obviously they get a special place in my heart. And it's, um, that's a card that pops out. It's funny, I, I see you see a lot of the same, like, I, I don't, well, in my, for, with my experience with this, I see a lot of the same cards pop up for me. But it's always a good message. I love um, using, even if I can, if I just get one card. Uh, draw from it a day or a three card it's always always so spot on and it has been really good for others too it's um resonated and it's just obviously gorgeous to look at i love it look at that how beautiful it's like i love it it's like life can grow from death death is not the end initiation so I love octopus. I watched a documentary um, like two weekends ago on octopuses. Octopi? <laughs> I don't know. They're smart. I mean, I knew they were smart, but I didn't know that they were like problem solving smart. Like alien creatures. Oh, oops, we're going back. Okay. Just show you guys some more. 
always a good element. That's a beautiful card. Some chakra cards, that's gorgeous. Oh, and so cute. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. Divine masculine. Alright. The next one is the Iris Oracle by Lana Fairchild. And oh my goodness, this deck, it's um, glossy. I have a few of the cards out because I'm I'm working with this in the evenings and I have not I didn't get a chance to read all the messages last night. So um I don't know how many cards is there's I don't know how many cards, but it comes in a very nice box. I guess so yeah, blue angel oracle, but really um this guidebook is amazing. Um I said in my April video this is a very personal deck. I didn't I did not know what to expect. I was like, I just want an Egyptian oracle. But um the night I got this, I did one card. I hadn't I didn't start the med actual doing a full on meditation until like a few days of using it. But before I was just using the you know, just reading the message without going into the actual meditation. And that night, the first night I had it, I dreamed about Isis and it was the most mothering, gentle energy. I, I, I don't have I don't have dreams like that. I'm not gonna like I forgot to mention that in the April video because I was like how, talking about how powerful this deck is. But I had a dream about her and she was just so loving and kind to me. And it was like I know it sounds so freaking it sounds it sounds crazy, but it's like welcoming me. It's like here, you know, like this is this would be an amazing. I like the the analogy of the hermit's lamp. Like this is my light, um, a light for me to use to um heal to learn to grow but the artwork is gorgeous so even on top of that just a superficial part of it like the art just the artwork and the little messages and keywords i'm like wow those are nice but but then it like the meditations are powerful so the first actual meditation the messages are amazing the first med uh, the first full-on meditation i did with it i could feel it in my body like some of my deepest medita meditative states I've ever reached. It, it was on that level, just the first meditation I did. And then Wild Moon Woman just posted a second video on, on it because it's much easier if you can, like listening to her video, you can, you know, it's much easier to have an like, audio guiding meditated, medi meditation for these um, messages, for these cards, because it's kind of hard to like relax in that meditative state and, um, and read like read the guys like kind of like reading a recipe book as you're trying to make the recipe if you already know like if someone was telling you the recipe as you were working you, didn't have, you wouldn't have to stop you know so the little audience for that would be amazing for this oh gosh yes and I noticed like a lot of cards pop out for me and I always feel like I normally just want to pull one card because the message and the meditation is so good like I've enjoyed it right before bed but um that's just for me personally, but I end up always having more cards fly out on me while shuffling, so I feel compelled to like hold those aside and get to, you know, read the messages as I can. Hold that card. But it is so beautiful, and I like it. So it's like, you know, coming from like a sacred feminine place, but it, I mean, I love how it's a very well balanced, very good balance of the divine masculine and the sacred feminine. So it's not like, it's not just all about women, empower and women empowerment, it's about... The balance of the masculine and the feminine within us and I love it I love how strong she is I again like my dream the dream I had and I have not that's like it was the most surreal dream I ever had um, in a long time like that it's just like oh I got this deck like you know like you wouldn't I wouldn't I can I would never have told you like I mean I love I love this deck but I haven't had a dream about it you know where it's not like like she came to me she came to me and she is so loving and and the most mother, it's the most beautiful mother presence. So, is there anything else I can say about this? So, this is like, it's kind of like when I used, to, you know, like as a child or a teenager, if I had found this, I mean, I guess I wouldn't have been ready for it, but I was just thinking like, it's, a, it's like one of the most spiritual experiences I've had with like reading something. <laughs> if that makes sense but I'm gonna go through all these cards like I love this I love I love the dynamic the um the archetype uh, the, the, the relationship of them the standard that they hold for humanity Jalen the divine masculine 
I had pulled this card. That's beautiful. Okay. Sorry, I got lost. All right, we'll, we'll go, we'll speed this up. Well, maybe. <laughs> All right, so this one is Mystical Wisdom by Gay Guthrie, and this is with Josephine Wall's art. I have done a full flip through on this. Like, that's like one of my first YouTube videos. Um, I love Josephine Wall's art, and I was like, this is like one of my first Oracle decks, and I do love it. Um, it has been amazing. The little guidebook with this is really, really, really good. Um, really, you know, like, nice messages. It's just like, it's very uplifting, especially when I was like going through, like, you know, dealing with some stress. I pulled that card a lot. It's like, cheer up, cheer up. <laughs> stay on, stay positive. There's only one, like, dark card in this deck. But it was very, I, I cried on, I cried with this one. I did a spirit guide reading with this and some tarot cards. And I cried. <laughs> I cried. It touched me. And it's beautiful. The backings are nice too. Um, it's, it's really good. I've found um, it's nice for when I read it for with others. Read it or use it for others as well. I pulled that one. Like initially I was pulling this one all the time. I was like, I think it wants me to go vegan. I haven't gone vegan. But I don't eat a lot of meat. So I think compromise. <laughs> Self-reliance. I also found it nice for like before I had Sacred Creators Oracle. This is very nice for like if you know kind of like um for entrepreneurs, for people trying to create new things or branch off and do new things and or new parts of their life, you know, new paths for themselves in any area of their life. It was very uplifting for that. And I remember um my daughter was staying with her dad one weekend and let's see if I can find that card and I was like just worried about her kind of like I was missing her like crazy even though you know it was like one night one night away and um where is that card and it popped up for me this card I mean I was like okay thank you thank you that's what I needed to hear right now for all the parents out there that worry about their babies, especially when they're not at home. But I love Josephine Wall's art. So, there's that one. Very nice. It's a nice little all-rounder um, for all kinds of, you know, all kinds of questions I found. And, do do Alright, and then these next two are by Mary Elizabeth Evans. She's on Etsy. Um, she's on Instagram as Spirit Speak. And Etsy, maybe a spirit speak also, but her name's Mary Elizabeth Evans. This is her Vessel Oracle. This is like a little oracle deck. I love it. Love it. This is so good. It's so quick to, um, if you're doing like a really big reading, this is nice to still add because it, it's very spot on. It has been so spot on. I've used this a ton for others. Um, and it's always been so good. I love that. Ugh. That, that says to me, like, go camping, go out in nature. Um, but the little guidebook is just like a quick, like, two or three sentences. So it's really quick. It's fun. I mean, I use it so much. I had, like, all the messages, like, memorized. So I was like, I didn't even have to, like, look at it if I was, like, trying to, like, pass on the message to others. But obviously you can get a lot just from looking at it. The artwork is very symbolic. <laughs> But this is amazing, amazing, loving, nurturing deck. Reminders. Don't forget to take care of yourself. This one came up a ton for other people. So it was just like, I feel like everyone needs to hear that message. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt your, uh, your light, your beauty inside and out. Don't doubt it. You are worthy. That one's special. That one's really special to me. That pulled up for a very important reading I did for somebody. So, yeah, what do you think? I like that. Purge. Purge the toxicity and negativity. But, and then, it is so pretty and vibrant. I love that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's little. And I can't, it comes in a very nice box. Vessel. Did I say, did I mention this vessel oracle? It's magnetic. that one and then this one's also new it was in my April videos this is uh, Mary Elizabeth Evans Iris Oracle 78 cards much bigger it's a really thick deck I've like I don't think I've ever had a 
there's not a whole lot of oracles that are this big but um this is the one i got for inner work on myself um wild moon woman had talked about this it's, it is very powerful the messages are good it's not as dark i was thinking it was just, like, just going to take me into the vortex of darkness but so far it hasn't it's actually just been extremely loving like it's like we're already in the darkness and it's already it's there loving it's so loving it's like reminding me to love myself even in the the dark it's beautiful so I feel like I thought it was like a thing a deck that would take me yeah take me into the darkness to heal that and it's more like you're already kind of there even like when you're having negative thoughts or not being able to deal with your emotions this is like what helps guide you back out again um, in a sense like what is the, what's the word I'm trying to think of um, it's just saying like you know if you're already in a dark place this here's your light here's your light to remind you that it's okay you are safe despite despite um, your feel your thoughts and feelings like it's okay you're not alone you're not alone in this and, and even in that darkest part of your soul and psyche you're you're safe you got this but it's very beautiful. It's like saying like you can still shine even in your own darkness and it's nothing to be afraid of. But I haven't worked with it enough to like give it a full read, but I was like, I found that to be fascinating. It's not like I was afraid, to, I was like, I was prepared to like, like shadow, like tell me all the things that are wrong with me almost. You know, like I feel like that's kind of like at first I thought without really knowing about shadow work, I thought that's what that was like, kind of like beat me up, but then put a bandaid on it after, you know, like help me get over my whatever that's bothered everything that bothers me about myself but it's like no it's like hey you deserve love no matter no matter no matter it's like oh thank you thank you even those ugly parts of ourselves deserve love it's okay we're all beautiful no matter what we've had to go through so this is a personal deck also so iris and Isis. <laughs> Iris and Isis are my personal, personal decks. So I'll re I would recommend those for people that want them. I will not be using them for others, but only because, like, if you get this deck, you'll see why. Like, read the first first um, chapter in her book, you'll, you'll see why. It's a very personal, spiritual journey. Okay, so the next one. I am power deck. It is so, is another one of, like, Wild Moon Woman compelled me to get this. Um, Mystic Moons. Here, Mystic Moons on Instagram. This is where I got this. I think she might still have. I know she was doing a second edition printing and has some extra cards, so she might still have some first editions. Um, it's still like a hundred cards or something. But um, yeah, this is an awesome. I am yeah. I am power deck. Um, I am statements. It's so colorful. There's chakra cards. There's um. This is so beautiful. It's so easy to add. It's kind of like the vessel, vessel oracle. It's just so easy to add. You know, it's a quick little message. But I like to pull several of these. Um, I like to, I was doing these and like putting them on my desk just to have, but then like I had like kind of like put it in a drawer. So I was like, I haven't used it in like a week because the cat kept knocking off the cards and I was just like, no, don't, you're messing up my mantras, <laughs> my affirmations. Yeah, yes, there's my card. <laughs> so, yeah, there's chakras. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And it even comes with the one where you can add your own. Um, yeah, add your own. Whatever affirmation you feel is missing that you would like to add for yourself. But, yeah, this is so good. This is good for everything. Spiritual, entrepreneurial, business, uh, career, love, all that. Empowerment. Yeah. Okay, the next one, I think this is actually my first, technically, Oracle deck. Even though it's really not, it's, this is the Money and the Law of Attraction card. So it's kind of like my first step, first, yeah, first step into the woo-woo card world for Oracle. Um, I do not, I did not read this book. I was actually really working on, at the time on Money Blocks. And I thought this would be a good reminder to keep me positive when I'm going into dark places. So it has these, um, I was, I, I tried this both ways, shuffling it and then just reading them in order of, you know, like new, 
numerically reading it. And I found I liked it shuffling better because like whatever message, whatever card popped out for me or I pulled was very nice to read and I keep it by my bedside. I haven't used it in a while. I think I've used it a few times for others. Wait, no, just a handful. And it has a message on the back. It is nice. It's just a nice reminder of how, like, the law of, you know, like, staying positive. But in a nice, healthy way. It's, like, more like, like you can do it. So, you know, anyone working through money blocks, needing to have something that reinforces the law of attraction mindset in a, in a good, healthy way. Um, I've been focused on a lot more spiritual stuff lately, so I haven't really felt compelled to work on my, not to say we, we always have blocks we can work on, right? Including money blocks, including, um, the feeling of being successful. There's all kinds of like weird, illogical, you know, it sounds logical, the money blocks in our minds. Um, but yeah, overcoming, overcoming that, you know, like we all deserve success that, we, you know, the things we put onto the world, we deserve to have that come back to us. Accepting and receiving, which is on Sacred Creator Sun Message. <laughs> so, you can pause it if you want to read the message. But I do, I do like this, even though I haven't, I don't use it a whole bunch, but just nice reminders. I love that. It helps get you out of victim mentality too, in case anyone deals with that. Put you back in the driver's seat. Alright, the last one, I was like, I feel like I had a lot more Oracle decks, but I'm like, oh, it's not so bad. <laughs> it's not so bad, it's not as bad as I thought. These, This is the Art Through the Eyes of the Soul. I got this because Sacred Seed, or uh, Elle from Sacred Seed has this, and she doesn't have a whole lot of Oracle decks, so I was like, let me see. She loved it. And there's a, there's a sequel to this called Art Through the Star Stream. I say sequel. From the same artist. Cheryl Yonbrook Rose. It's very magical. And I, I said in my April videos, this is very shamanic. Again, I have not worked a whole lot with this. I pulled that card. So beautiful. Very spiritual. Have you noticed I have like all these like... I mean, I guess tarot is, a, is very spiritual no matter what, but... I love, I love this deck. I love how different it is. So different. And the messages in the book are good too. But yeah, this is definitely higher chakra. High chakra deck. High vibe. It's nice card stock. So. Anyway. Yeah, it's very high chakra. Love it. And that are that that are uh, those are my oracle decks. I have a bunch more on my wish list, so I'm trying to calm myself. I practice self discipline, but these are so much fun to work with. Oh my goodness, those are, again. That one. These two hit me, and sort of similar ways and then the sacred creators is just so freaking amazing they're all i mean i just love them all okay but i will say for anyone being called to isis this right now is just so powerful when you have dreams about a deck or dreams about a goddess i never i mean i know like people work with goddesses and deities but like that never really you know resonated with me in a, i mean not, not resonated with me in the sense like i wasn't going to go out and seek it you know but this I bought that deck and then I dream about Isis and I'm like oh my gosh this is amazing this is so powerful so powerful so anyway uh, I love you guys I hope you have a great day I'll do one for my tarot decks as well so you guys can see like what kind of cardamancer am I so have a good day